I had some suspicions there was something really up with the uh, control authority in Flight Sim 2020. The small airplanes seemed way too twitchy. Um, I mean, I was using bigger or uh, smaller control movements on my stick than I do flying a Mirage and DCS, which was kind of nuts. Uh, and then I noticed something else when I was actually uh, tried a small field takeoff from a uh, little airfield. Uh, so I thought I'd conduct a bit of an experiment, and I'll show you what I found here. So I thought I'd try a short field takeoff in a DV-20. Now short field for this aircraft is you hold the brakes, stick full back, release the brakes at full throttle, um, and keep holding that till the nose pops up at about 40 knots. Hold that to about 47, lift off in the ground effect, then start your climb at uh, 50 for obstacle avoidance. But I'll show you what happens when you do that. So we're stick all the way back, flaps and takeoff, holding the brakes, apply full power, and the nose starts to come up. And the nose snaps up. Um, then comes back down when we drop power. That's, um, that's interesting. Of course, I keep hitting the escape key for the camera, and uh, let's watch it on the external view, so you can see actually what's happening here. So we're holding the brakes, go full power, put the stick back, and our nose is going to snap up. There. That does not happen. Um, that does not happen in the real plane. Um, and frankly, I don't even understand how physics-wise it's happening in the simulator. Uh, this is a T-tail aircraft. There's very little propeller slipstream going over that horizontal stabilizer. Um, you know, when you're sitting on the ground like this. Like, I, I, I don't get it. I, I do not understand how this is happening. Because uh, it shouldn't be. There, there's no, almost no airflow over the horizontal stabilizer. Um, and then we'll see when uh, we're in the cockpit, this actually makes it almost impossible to conduct an actual short bit. See, there we got tail strikes. Now I'm dragging the tail. And uh, now I'm uh, trying unsuccessfully to balance it on the mains. The, the control authority here is just insane. So I'm more successfully balancing it on the mains. Um, but I'm having a heck of a time getting enough speed to actually get it off the ground. So here I finally managed to get it into a uh, ground effect, but I need to start climbing because I'm going to be tree dodging here. I can't remember the length of this airfield, it's about 1,200 feet, I think, which should be more than enough space for a DV-20, even on a grass strip. Um, yeah, so now finally I managed to get to my actual climb speed of around uh, 60 knots for a short, I think it's 57, is the actual obstacle avoidance climb on this thing. Uh, but yeah. Um, that shouldn't happen. There's something really messed up there uh, with the physics. So just as, by ways of experiment, I thought I'd kick the flight model uh, back to one of the older versions. Uh, keep in mind, I haven't played a Civi Flight Simulator since I think uh, Flight Sim 95 was the last one I played, so I have no idea how the Legacy Flight Model is supposed to act. Uh, but I thought this would be an interesting little experiment. So, same scenario, same airfield, same plane. Here, take off configuration. And once again, I get escape to go to the external camera. All right, elevator full back, full throttle. Hey, look at that, the plane hunches forward and does not kick up. That is actually what is supposed to happen. So let's see if we can actually do a more proper short field takeoff. 
So holding brakes, stick all the way back, throttle to full, release the brakes. This is more expected behavior and around 40 knots that nose should kick up. There it is, now we just balance the plane on the mains. Then 50 knots, lift off and climb at 57. And notice here how there's no issues avoiding any of the obstacles. Um, now I'm rocking a lot because I did notice on the legacy flight model, although the takeoff was more realistic, the uh, controls are about a thousand times more twitchy and this thing feels like it's uh, flying on a rail covered in grease and ice. Um, so the actual flying is a ton worse, but um, Needless to say, I think there's some uh, there's some definite physics issues in this sim.